Welcome everybody, this is Brother Meat here. Today we're going to talk about the next campaign that I'd like to perform for my next Let's Play. Now, instead of just picking one for you guys and just assuming you're going to like it, I decided, well, let's do something a little different. A, I'm going to ask for help for what you'd want to see, and then I'm going to give you some options for what I've found. If you find something better, by all means, post a link, let me know. You'll also notice in the uh, description down below, you'll see the links for all the mods that I'm going to talk about, and we have quite a few for a reason. The other thing I wanted to do differently is I wanted to have a big campaign, right? Something that would take my character to level, you know, teens, maybe even level 20. So, there's very few mods out there that I have found that will take you from 1 to 20. There's one that I'm going to show you, and it'll be an exception to the rule, and you'll see why in a moment. But I thought, well, why don't I see if I can put together from the mods I've found ones that I can start at level one and finish at four or six or seven, and then another mod that I would fall into right after. So we have a, a several choices to pick from. So I'm going to break this video down into uh, two separate parts. One part was the one you're watching right now, where we talk about the various mods and the permutations for you know what would be the chapter one, if you will, chapter two and maybe even a final chapter three is a possibility. The second video would be the type of characters I would suggest using now, which you want me to play for either of the mods this could be up to you. There are some restrictions. So for these mods, if there is a restriction, I will do my best to uh, make sure I impose that restriction upon myself. A fine example is alignment. Uh, many of them are neutral, neutral good, uh, just possible choices, uh, straight good characters. There's one that's phenomenal that I'd like to play, and it is that exception to the rule, but apparently you have to be evil. So again, don't expect me to roll a paladin and take it into the evil one, because you can't. Okay. Okay, now we are back. Now, I have three different windows that I'm going to pop up. You see we have several uh, tabs in each. The first set of windows or tabs that you see here are going to be chapter one so to speak. And I'm starting almost all the way to the left here, and we're starting with Fate of a City. Now this one is particularly interesting. It's got a gold star rating. It's considered very good. A very nice story and description that I found to be relatively compelling. Notice that um, you will progress from level 1 to approximately uh, 6 or 7, depending on how you play. A decent amount of gameplay time, which is extremely exciting for me, so this mod in and of itself would be a good LP all on its own. But as a starting chapter one, I thought it might be relatively interesting. So, Fate of the City uh, was one that I had downloaded. I have never, ever looked at it. I have never actually unloaded the module folder um, so I could actually play it. But based on what I see in the description here, and again, the links will be down below, it looks like something I'd be interested in. Nothing groundbreaking. Doesn't seem to be anything uh, uniquely interesting other than the fact that the modder obviously put their heart and soul into this. I think this would be a very good chapter one. Uh, other examples of chapter ones you see up here, and a couple exceptions that you, I'll get to once we get to them. I'll explain why in a moment. Islander the Dagger Forge. This one does look pretty cool to me, though, too. This one looks particularly interesting. Again, starting out low level character, uh, suggests that you save often. A compelling story to be had. Looks relatively interesting, and from the few comment sections that I've seen, looks relatively uh, interesting to the other players as well. You get companions, which is always a bonus. Uh, some forced on you, others that you can actually have to fill uh, extra slots. So if you bring a, a specific class, there doesn't seem to be a class limitation on many of these mods, which I do like that as well. Um, I can play whatever the hell I want. I want a wizard, that's fine, because I can get the, the rogue or the bard and the fighters and clerics that I need. If I wanted to be a paladin, for these uh, adventures, and that's fine because then I'll have my wizard or sorcerer to back me up, you know, arcane spells and etc. and so forth. You get the idea. So, uh, this one takes you all the way up to level six, presumably, three chapters in it. Again, sounds like a really solid story. Notice how you have to be a good aligned character. Doesn't matter about race or gender. I'm happy about that because then I get a little more freedom for what I want to play. Don't always have to be a guy, human, or, uh, or woman human character uh we have uh, a couple of mods that i've installed recently that i'll do another video on that uh races of Faerun is a part of it and that is particularly interesting in that i can play all kinds of different characters now 
I'm not saying I would pick some of the more uh, esoteric ones, but certainly there's a lot to choose from, and I'll, I'll talk about that at another time. But this does look like a nice solid campaign. Interesting, nice picks. I like the graphics of it. Uh, there's a little bit of romance built into some of these mods. Some are just straight hack and slashers. And I'm fine with any or all of these, so I don't really have a problem with it. One that I've been toting for a while now that I wanted to play is the scroll. And from what I see, scroll will lo let me go from level 1 to uh, about level 9. Uh, from what I'm seeing in the, the discussion down below. Particularly interesting about the downside, let's put this out there right now, of the scroll is I would have to take everything out of my override folder. Uh, so that means no cadrons, no improved spell fixes uh, from reruns work. Uh, I don't even think I'm allowed to have graphical changes to my spells. Uh, they specifically say remove everything and I would have to try to follow those rules because I can't, it's still in testing so to speak, um, and I can't review a game, a module like this if I'm not following the rules, is my attitude. I can't really say, oh, well, you know, it was great except for I crashed all the damn time and it was probably my fault because I didn't listen to Lance and what they suggested I should do. So I will do my best. But they, the reason, is, as horrible as all that sounds for all the wonderful graphical upgrades that I've gotten that I now can't use, I'm okay with it because this particular module has a lot going for it. Just from what I've seen online, um, there's a couple little uh, uh, YouTube videos out there for like a few minutes at a time uh, showing some of the different features that you find in the scroll. And this modder put a lot of effort into this, like different uh, maps and uh, the way they uh, break down the journals and your spell usage. You know, you, the, the game is quite cool, uh, is what I'm being told. So I would be a big fan of looking at it. There doesn't seem to be any particular limitation that I can find, uh, and I haven't really got into this one. Uh, but this is again when they say not compatible with any other uh, add-on or hack file. So again, stuff that'll have to be removed. And again, it's supposed to be single player. Uh, they do have a multiplayer aspect to it, but I won't be using that. They have companions and henchmen, so again, I can flesh out a party. So I'm not the only guy that's you know hacking and slashing or spell casting. Uh, again, start at level one, finish level nine. There are some classes that aren't uh, recognized, uh, and invalid face are also removed, so that could be an issue. Um, so I probably wouldn't be playing something like uh, a DD based character who wouldn't have my cleric or, or druid or paladin, for example. In this one, something of a, a fighter class. I could be a ranger. I don't mind that. Uh, I've always had fun with a, a ranger monk build that I've always wanted to flesh out, and I'll show you that in another video. Um, but I've, uh, in my brain right now, I have a decent paladin multi-class build uh, brewing in my brain. You know, it's a paladin slash favorite soul slash uh, divine champion slash doom guy. At, uh, obviously, all the way at level thirty, an epic character to be sure but not something that I might not take in, in this type of campaign. Uh, I have a ranger monk that I always wanted to do. It's kind of the variation that, uh, is it the Kama no Kami uh, build, I think, they, I think I'm saying that right, uh, that I found on the forums. Very interesting build, uh, basically a, a, a dual, perfect two-weapon fighting build uh, that can really do some damage when you get in close with a couple of magic enchanted weapons. So, as a pimped out ranger with some monk splashed in there. I think it'd be kind of fun. Uh, a lot of couple of things. They have specific restrictions, uh, food rations, you know, again, unique things to this particular module that make this really appealing, guys. And I'm not saying pick it because I like the idea of playing it. I'll get around to playing it anyway. Don't worry about that. All these mods are going to be ones that I'm going to want to play at some point. Uh, whether I do an LP on them, that's another story. The thing that shies me away from this is not really the fact that I won't get my cool graphics and all the other stuff from the spell tweaks that I've done. It's that it still is kind of in testing from what I can see. It's finished. Uh, there's a lot of people reporting a bug here and a you know, fix there, but by and large, it, it does look like it would be fun even with the trouble that, that may spring up periodically. Uh, from there, we have other ones now, and the reason I have these as question marks in my list, which you can't see because it's on the paper in front of me, is I don't have a either uh, what level I should start at 
or I don't have a what level it finishes at. So I really don't know if these are appropriate for these. Now you'll notice this is actually, instead of being in the vault, this is one that's actually in the Nexus. And the Nexus is another fine place where you guys can get your mods. And again, links will be down below. But a fairy tale is one that I was always very interested in playing. Looks relatively big. Have to be a human, male or female, not particularly uh, old because there's going to be some romancing of some type. Um, don't want you to be a caster. And that includes clerics. I'm assuming that would include druids, favorite souls, spirit shamans, sorcerers, and wizards. Bards may be okay, but I think a bard is part of your team, if I remember right. Uh, this is what they'd recommend Paladin, Blackguard, Fighter, Ranger, or Barbarian. And again, my Ranger Monk build could be pretty decent, and a Monk would work okay. Again, so, so long as you follow the good path. And again, I'm fine with that. Uh, other than that, you know, again, my Paladin build that I've been percolating in my brain could be interesting as well. The reason that they suggest not uh, using the uh, magic caster types is, and I've played this one for all of like, what? 10 minutes within 10 minutes of playing I found a book and I'm not trying to spoil it for you guys but it, like I said is early on I found a book that the book allows you to cast sleep like three times a day and I think that that's part of the game is that you will build your own book library of you know, magical spells that you get to cast and any, any caster or any class gets to cast them so I could be a fighter that just happens to have wizard books on me and I think that's cool Thematically speaking, I think that's quite interesting. So again, a uh, fairy tale has always been promising, and Sango does uh, great work. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, sir or madam. Don't know who you are, uh, but they've always done excellent work. I've found, and I'm very interested to see what they have to offer for this one here. But again, uh, you have companions, one permanent, and two others that can be uh, added to your group. You get a bard, druid, monk, and a swashbuckler. Uh, so extremely useful. For other stuff, obviously we've got some casters here. Uh, monk could be kind of fun to have with me, because chances are if there, there's a monk in this module, then they have gear for monks, and that would make my ranger monk, if I take it in there, a good choice. Notice how they point out specifically a rogue is pointless, as there are no traps. So again, not building my arcane trickster uh, that I did from the wizard's apprentice, but it doesn't mean that I couldn't use her or some variation of her on one of these other ones, guys. Let me know what you guys think as far as stuff like that later on. Uh, again, we got some romanceable features. That's why they suggest you being a human, so you're not, you know, some stupid little dwarf or whatever that's, you know, looking in the belly button of the hot chick that you're basically trying to romance, or you know, vice versa. So again, uh, that's why you want to be human. But seems to be some leeway here for how to have a fling with somebody else, which I think is kind of funny. But again interesting stuff looks like a relatively good story a lot of people say good things about it um, again pretty happy to have this as a choice I just don't know how far it takes your character level one to what I just don't know that Fanglewood is one I stumbled across by pure dumb luck and again I haven't played a minute of this game at all and I have it I have it in my folders just haven't you know, unlocked the modules yet to, to you know play it uh, Looks like it could be pretty interesting. Starts at low level, level one to three. Uh, I don't know if that means you start at level one, you finish at level three, or that you can be a level three character and start, and that's still considered okay. Seems to be a low mod uh, based on the size. It, you know, it looks like it could be pretty big. Um, so I, you know, I'd be interested in trying this one out. Don't know a whole lot more about that. And again, don't know what kind of character is recommended, and maybe there's like a a fact pack or a, a guide when you download this I just need to go back to my original folder and look at it see if there's maybe a oh you know we suggest that you play this kind of a character or don't forget to have that or you know they have a lot of those tutorials kind of like built into the game uh, or uh, in the download so that you guys know what you're looking for uh, so again if a rule would be useless they tell you you know or if it's uh, hack and slash where a wizard is really not going to do well on their own they'll tell you it's not that you can't try it and you know i love challenge but why would i want to reset the game 20 goddamn times to get through the first fight because that would be silly some of these games uh, mods by the way are uh, resting friendly which means you, know, you can rest anywhere some of these are resting restricted which again i love those because that makes it really work for it but on those ones again you really want to rely on your sword and your board so 
if I don't have a teamy or seven <laughs> that can bail me out. I might not want to go straight wizards on some of these guys. Oh, let's see. Tears of Ilmer written. Okay, now this is an honorable mention for the fact that it's a very long story because it's chapter one and chapter two, which you see here. Uh, it's the same author. It's supposed to be very good. Uh, I like the idea that it's a continuation of chapter one and chapter two. So I like that part. Uh, but it doesn't uh, seem to have a uh, start at this level, finish at that level kind of setup. Um, from what I found, let me find my little notes here. Where are you two? There you are. Level start, I have no idea. Supposedly you'll finish around level 12 or 13 on chapter 1. And that's the only reason I know that is because that's what they say you'll be importing to chapter 2. And it doesn't say how far it takes you. But again, this could be very interesting to me because the fact that it's a two-parter looks like a pretty pictures that they have here so it looks like they put in a lot of effort yeah again here you go should have finished the last one around this level doesn't say what you start at so if this is a starting at level one and anyone knows by all means let me know that if i need to be level five or seven or whatever again let me know because maybe i could use one of these earlier ones to start a character get them up to level six or seven and then import them into here again i'm cool with that uh, but again these two make a really fine story i hear and I'm very interested in checking them out. Honorable mention for the birthday. This one's supposed to be short. I do know that. I don't know what you finish at, but you know you start at level one. And I have played it for a few minutes just to get the feel about what's going on. It's interesting. There's a little story here. Uh, basically, it's your birthday, and there's like some kind of quest on everyone's birthday. And the town is all you know up in arms about the fact that you've got to do something. Every time someone has a birthday, there's like this big quest. And you, it's all you. You don't get to have a party. You don't get to have friends helping you out. By, by and large, it's you doing whatever it is the, the quest is. And I didn't get into that so much as I got into talking to the townsfolk. But it seemed cheery, uh, even though it says twisted and dark. I, you know, I haven't gotten that part apparently yet. Uh, it is tough. Uh, I think I took in a character that was subpar for this one. This may be a good one for a straight up fighter class. You know, someone that's got some hit points, some armor. A good uh, swinging sword, you know, because again, you do start at low level and you're fighting bad guys pretty darn quick. Uh, but by and large, it seems interesting. Uh, and again, it doesn't seem to be long, uh, maybe three or four levels and you're done. Something of that nature. Uh, relatively short, but looks pretty. Oh, they even got a guide. No, oh, I'm not going to look at that because that's sweet cheating. Um, but. Uh, point is, this this could be a good starter module, especially if Tears of Ilmarin uh, here uh, requires me to be like level 4 or 5 or something like that, guys. I'd be happy to take the birthday on and then fall into these two uh, or something else like you'll see here in a moment. Now, now, this covers almost the entire bar here. And again, if you have other suggestions for a level 1 up uh, mod, by all means, suggest it down below and give me a link so I can find it. Uh, but there's this one way over here that we haven't talked about yet. And the reason we haven't talked about because A, you have to be evil. Uh, and, yeah, I'm not uh, upset by that. You know, it's D&D, &D, man. You're, you're supposed to, you know, role play. That's the whole damn point. So, hey, maybe it's time to be an evil character. Time to do evil. Uh, but notice how this one starts at level one and you can get all the way up to like 20 plus, depending on how much you do and how much you explore. That's very appealing. So this could be a campaign. I mean, this could be, you know, just let me play this for the next six months and video record it for you guys. I could have fun with that. It's a hack and slasher. Uh, there's other stuff you get to do, uh, but they really say you, you need to be evil for this one. Lots of hours of gameplay, depending on how much you explore. You have to have all three versions of the game, which I do, so there's no problem there. Seems to be a relatively decent story. The size of it, of course, sounds interesting. Prefer race or clash? They don't give a damn. Uh, and for the first four level, it based the story and quest on what kind of character you are. Are you a cat, divine caster, an arcane caster, a rogue, or a fighter type? And if it doesn't recognize that, apparently it will ask you, what do you want? What kind of path do you want to follow? So again, for these Cadron classes that are new and you know, obviously additions uh, to the override folder, um, which would allow me to use Cadron's pack, which I'm very happy with, um, this could let me play this one. This one looks particularly exciting though. You know, hack and slash, got some interesting content to it, long story, even tells you a little bit of the kind of magic gear that you might find. Nothing stellar, no game breaking plus sevens or anything like that, but a, a decent plus two, plus three 
uh, assortment of weapons and again the rare ones as specific treasure you find which are cool skill use is interesting companion skills are checked in conversation I always like that so again really good use of some stuff that they got here some crafting in the system uh, death can be an issue of course just like in all, all the other games but, but each death system can be unique so you know, again something to keep in mind but very cool some puzzles nothing you know particularly you know possible to get but Tony K's AI is built in which makes for a lot easier control of any teammates I have as well as I can set some monsters to be you know, pre-buffed up to give myself a little bit of a challenge lots of different companions to pick from again maximum party size so a lot of good stuff and you get I can play whatever the hell I want by and large because as you see here you're going to have all the, the bases covered with your team so kind of cool and again I like that fact that I can be whatever the hell I want to be playing this mod and then you know take away what it you know like say I start out as a wizard finish that and say oh it was fun but man it was kind of tough I'm going to go back and play it as a rogue and then just have all kinds of fun with all my new companions still covering my wizardly or sorcerly bases you know kind of nice again for the part that I just cut out make sure I'm not missing anything I like the fact that I can play whatever I want you know I have a different assortment of companions to fill in whatever I need whether it be you know, spells for the divinity side, the ar uh, arcane kind of casters, how I need more fighters and rogues. You know, I can play what I want and play this game multiple ways then, which I kind of dig. Uh, by and large, though, I like the fact that I can do whatever the hell I want. It seems like a relatively big campaign. I mean, these are two files. You do need both these files. Um, really nice, large amount of content. And it should be. Going from level 1 to level 20 plus, it should be relatively huge only concern I have for this again since I haven't played any of it uh, and I point this out now because my computer is not the best it's not the most tweaked out pimped out system we have out there uh, and I point that out because I just tried to download and play a, a rogue specific mod which I'm very interested in doing eventually called Crimmore C-R-I-M-M-O-R I think is how it's spelled and I downloaded it, it uploaded fine, but once I got out into the city, it was so graphically intense, my computer was just bogging down, and people were stutter stopping everywhere they went, and it was just kind of be annoying. Throw that into with the, the fact that I wasn't even running recording, and it could get even laggier, I'm assuming, so I'm just going to have to shelf that one for now, which is a damn shame, because it looked like it would be a really good rogue-based game, you know, a mod specifically tailored for rogues. I'll have to get around to it once I start upgrading my computer. But this could be an issue for this one as well. I don't know. And for any of these, for that matter. So do what I can. I'll test it in advance based on what you guys are suggesting. Uh, and then I'll play it officially as an LP. Tell me what you guys think. But this would be the first chapter, if you will. This one, of course, be straight up the first chapter to the end. Tears of Ilmarid 1 and 2 could be chapters 1 and 2, uh, 2 and 3, 1 through 3, for all I know, because of the size. But uh, I don't know again where you started the first one, and I don't really know where the second one ends as far as level. But you're pretty high up there when you start it, so I'm guessing this could be a really good last level mission. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think for that. Now, that's chapter one. Right? Now let's look at what I would suggest for chapter two. Uh, that would be over here. Now we have a variety to look at over here again as well. And these ones start out around level sevens, level eights, nines, and tens in there. So again, if you guys have other mods that would fit that, by all means suggest them for like a chapter two setting. Temple of Elemental Evil was one I heard about a while ago. Now there's, there's also the Temple of Elemental Evil unlocked. So there's two separate uh, Neverwinter Vault postings. Make sure you're looking at the right one. Again, links will be down below uh, in the description. So you make sure you're clicking on the right one. It was originally done, or being made, excuse me, this was a pen and paper version, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it was really made for Neverwinter Nights 2. And they they did a good job from what I hear, but they, they did some things that a lot of people disagree on. Like, you couldn't level your character. Whatever uh, level you started at, like 8 or 10 or something like that. That's all you got through the entire campaign you never leveled. And that's okay. Uh, it's not that that's bad. If it's a long campaign, it'd be kind of annoying that you never are any better than the way you started, except for gear. But, you know, it, it could be interesting. It just depends on the kind of player you are. 
but they redid this one so you can level up and you start at a slightly different level and blah 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 um, looks pretty interesting so there's some role playing in here hack and slash is possible you know use ways to get around things there are some traps they're not necessary to get around stuff but you know you are going to do some battles there is some magic that's used you don't have to eh, crafting um, there's a little bit of crafting that they put in here I wouldn't say it's going to be something that's going to be making or breaking the game. By and large, it will be stuff that's found, is my guess. But, you know, okay size, nothing stellar here, but it looks like it could be pretty decent. And I like the idea of the Temple of Elemental Evil, so it's supposed to be pretty fun. Um, the Black Scourge of Candle Cove. Now, caveat for this one, I played it already. Not as an LP, but I have played it and finished it. And it's a team friendly game. I mean, it'll be your character, and you can import others, a la SOZ style, style play. Uh, a lot of unique stuff in here. Very innovative work. Uh, I would love to do just a video on just it, because you, you are pretty badass with this. You have to start off at a pretty high level. I want to say it's like 9 or 10. If you don't, a lot of these will auto-level you. Not all of them will. Hence the reason why I'm giving you options for how to do Chapter 1, build me up, export a character, and then import them now into, say, this one. But this one, I believe, gives you an option to level up. And I think you can even make it a challenge. So while they say level 10 is considered a decent level, you can either choose to level the character to level 9 and give yourself a challenge, or level 11 and make it easy on yourself, I think. If I remember, it's been a while. But Chose does this one, and uh, you guys know Chose. Chose does great work anyway. So this one was very cool. There's fishing in this one. There's uh, all kinds of crafting in this one. And actually, you can stay around and make money. It's cheating. I did it for funsies, just to see what kind of gear I could craft as a bard, because I was curious. Uh, but you can craft and make money doing it all day long, and the fishing and all that good stuff, and sell the fish for cash, and just make pimp-ass gear, weapons, you know, whatever. You know, it was not something I'll probably do. I mean, I'll probably make some gear for myself. But the stuff you find was pretty impressive. You're just scuba diving in this one. I mean, I'm telling you, this one is very cool. If you haven't played it, and if I don't do an LP on it anytime soon, or if uh, Travesty doesn't, who probably should, because he'll do it right. The Black Scourge of Canico was quite cool, and it got an expansion. I want to talk about cool. Uh, other content uh, creators decided that they loved it so much that they imported... Uh, on a separate file, I don't have it listed here, but I do have it downloaded, a Halloween patch that basically adds to the Black Scourge of Canico, which adds a bunch of Halloween-themed uh, adventures in the town. <laughs> it's very cool. So I could probably do that and have all kinds of fun. And this one's, again, I've played it. It is fun. It is hard. Do not be convinced that, you know, your, your pimp-ass and level 9 characters are going to, like, swagger on in and just, like, devastate everything. It doesn't need a team. Bull. This thing's tough. This is real tough, like to the point where I had a team of four and I knew what I was doing and I was pimped out in some of the best gear and I was still having to reset because of, you know, uh, epic wipes. But it's fun. It was so much fun to play. So I could totally get into an LP for this one. Uh, but again, yeah, I want to do new things for myself as well as do stuff that you guys want to see. So if you want to see Black Scourge, vote for it. If you want to see any of these others, vote for them. Again, I'll play them all. But I tell you, you got to pick something. I have played this one a little bit. This one's Undermountain. And the reason I played this one, because of the name, Undermountain, the Lost Level. Undermountain, for those of you who don't know, this is the... Make sure I'm saying this right, though. It's like Underdark. So this is where all the the dungeons are, like, so deep that they go to, like, the center of the earth. Probably not, but damn deep. And where all the drow seem to freaking come from. So there's, like, evil spider people and just dickheads everywhere and you know like light is a prime resource which I would always love if someone made a mod where light was crucial and important like torches light spells you know gear that has a light kicking off of it should be more important in these games but again I'm getting off on a tangent but this one is fun and or the concept of it's fun I played it a little bit didn't get very far so I've already forgotten what I did in it so there's that um, you start at a decent level, uh, they will get leveled up to level 8 if you're new, so again, if I have a character that I'm exporting with some gear that's only level 5, 6, or 7, that's fine. So again, I'll be, I'll level up, you know, I don't mind pretending that, yeah, I was doing other stuff on my way over to the Under Mountain and I got leveled up on the side. That's fine with me, I, that's not going to break any of the reality for me. Um, there was some glitches when I played this the first time, now again, 
grain of salt. This could have been, uh, you know, me not knowing everything I need to know about hacks and override folders and all the stuff that I've crammed in there. I could have broken it for all I know. Uh, but I did see, I think someone was complaining about there are a couple glitches here and there where it basically needed to be, uh, oh, they even mentioned, I think, up in here, where they suggest that you save repeatedly. Um, because it's one of those where there are crashing issues. So, uh, yeah, right here. Uh, crashing in an area load, so I recommend saving before your transition. This one has companions, and again, another reason why I like this one was because the, they give you companions that can be, you can get four to pick from, you can have any three that you want on your team. So, they give you a fighter, a rogue, a wizard, and or a cleric. So, you fit in all four of your general classes, which means I can play whatever the hell I want. Again, cool. Cadrons compatible, friendly, love that. DMFI friendly, I'm not sure what that means. I think that could be multi-player, but I'm not sure. But certainly a fun mod that I could get into. I don't know how big it is. do not appear to be huge, but size-wise, that could be still pretty decent. Um, and it could be fun. Moon Shadows, Chapter 1, misleading in that they thought there was going to be another chapter, and there was not. That is a Silver War winner, so people liked it. Uh, graphically, just from the pics they've uploaded, it looks pretty damn cool. Love the darkness. Um, so it looks pretty interesting. Um, 10 hours of exploration, some decent amount of music, a lot of neat facts that they got going in here. But by and large, um, death is permanent. Be wary. 9 to 12 hours of gameplay, depending on your play style, which means I'm going to play the whole damn thing. Uh, level 8 character. Make it out to level 13, give or take a level, so 12 to 14. So, again, a good chapter 2 as far as I'm concerned for my next LP. Some interesting things, but by and large, the it could be interesting. And Moon Channels, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it, to me, it automatically makes me think of werewolves. Doesn't mean they'll be in there, but we may find out when we play it. So, who knows? If you guys know more, don't tell me. Just tell me you want me to play it or not. Harp and Chrysanthemum. Now, this is an honorable mention one. Module of the Year, number uh, 2007 winner. Uh, pretty badass. It's very large. Get down here to show you. Uh, doesn't look like it would be, but it's actually supposed to be quite an epic campaign. Um, this one here, I have not played. I've started, let me rephrase. I've started just to upload it to see if it, the module was working, and it did load me in. I didn't think, I don't think I even talked to anybody. But it looked like it could be good. Um, you start as a uh, low level character, fourth level character. So again, you'd have to um, level up the character to get him in here, I think. Uh, and the mod is a decent length, but again, neutral good characters only. It's supposed to be some really good story. So for those of you that are into stories more than you're into hack and slashing, this could be a good one for this. So I'm cool with that. You know, again, I did the main god saga. Well, it was kind of wordy. I got into it by the end, I must admit. I mean, it took a while to get through some stuff, but by and large, I was pretty happy with it. So this could be another fun one. But again, I'll have to have a chapter one to get me to level four or level three before importing a character. And I really would rather do that than force level something to four, even in the game, and then buy my gear. Because let's face it, part of your character is what have you accomplished, what kind of gear have you earned, stolen, you know, killed for, whatever. I want to have my Magic Staff plus one, you know. Even if it's just a lame Magic Staff plus one, I earned it. That's mine. I should be able to take it into the next month. So if I can do that, that's that's kind of the reason for the up, up chapters every time and importing a character. You know, I kind of dig that. So tell me what you guys think. And again, if there's something else, I'm sure there's plenty out there that would fit a good mid-level chapter two. Think level four to level ten. Starting level okay uh, how high it takes you past that you know you can just let me know say hey well, I've played Neil Moonshows and it starts at level 7 and you finishes at level 15 you should totally play that one you know give me that information don't tell me how to beat it just give me the nuts and bolts of what it starts at and what you should finish it at and how long it should play and you know did you like it or do you want to see it stuff like that so that would be chapter 2 now if we go even further because some of these again I don't know when they end you can start at level 4 and end at level 15 for some of these. Start at level 10 and finish at 20 for all I know. Uh, I know Black Scourge, I didn't get too high. 
my bits I want to say out of that I started like uh, I think I picked the 10 because it said picking 9 was kind of crazy and I think picking 10 was a good medium ground picking 11 was kind of like cheating because it was to be too easy so I think I picked 10 I think I'm going to say I finished around 13 or 15 and there was plenty of play time in there so it was fun and I don't know if I did everything that I could have done but it was definitely fun and with the Halloween expansion I could have even more fun but um Again, I want to get to a decent, high-level character and feel like I've accomplished something, you know what I mean? So, let me know what you guys think about that. Now, having said that, there is one last one to talk about, and it would be a possible Chapter 3. Uh, single pair module, level 11 to 13. 12 is optimal, but 11 to 13 fit. And someone, I think, even posted that they started as a level 14 character and had plenty of fun with it, so it wasn't that it was too easy at 14. It probably depends on the character, of course. Um, but this one, the Red Prison, this one looks interesting. And it's the only one I found that seems to be that mid-level, high-level uh, that I'd want to play from what I've downloaded recently. Certainly there's more out there. Again, if you guys can think of something where you start at level 14 or 15, oh, post the link down below. Let me know. You know so what do you think about it? Or did you want to see it? See it? Maybe you haven't played it, but you heard good things about it. Or you just want to know. You know so you get LP of it. But this one could be the last chapter for some levels. Again, some are so long that I'll out-level the starting level, so I obviously couldn't play the Red Prison on that LP. But I'll get around to it. It looks interesting. Uh, does not have a level-up feature, so you need to bring your character in at the appropriate level, 11 to 13, or 14, or whatever. So you want to export a character. Uh, doesn't have... Uh, if you like adventure without any companions, uh, this module is not for you, so you're going to get companions. Uh, if you hate linear models with tons of side quests, without tons of side quests, um, this module is not for you. So basically, you're going to get linear model module without a ton of side quests. You're basically doing the mission. Whatever this red prison is, that's what you're doing. And you know, again, I'm fine with that. Straight up story, nothing wrong with that. Suggested rules and settings, PC death, loaded last save point, your auto saves, so you really want to make sure you're doing your auto saves or saving. Uh, they do have crafting. How much, I don't know. Never played it. So again, no idea what I'd be going into. But it looked like it could be fun. Um, again, got relatively decent score uh, in the old system. Not the hugest game ever, but again, for a nice finishing up chapter to kind of get you up another few levels. Maybe I'll finish at 14, 15. I think someone said that they started at 14, finished at like 17 or something. So there's a decent amount of play in there, or at least a decent amount of XP to be had. So it could be just a straight up hack and slash linear, you know, kill all the bad guys kind of thing. But yeah, I can be cool with that. So now that covers everything that I wanted to say for those. Um, again, certainly there's more mods out there, others that I haven't even discussed here that are, are pretty good choices. Um, I didn't talk about, uh, let's see, what did I have on my list of ones that, oh, uh, like there's uh, one called Epic Campaign that's a level 30. Like you will start at level 30 for a solo character, and it's supposed to be super fun. Uh, I'll do that eventually. You can do that one as a team, I think I remember reading, and they suggest if you go in as a team of four, I think, um, you want to be level 21 for all your four characters, which could also be extremely fun. It could be a nice, uh, do a couple LPs where I build up the characters close enough to 21 where I could export them, force level up to 21, and then import all four of them. Hell, I could dust off my old uh, arcane trickster uh, you know how much I loved having her. Uh, Tedo Masson was a badass at the end of The Wizard's Apprentice, and hell, and I got me a pretty damn good cleric. So I could have some fun leveling them up on some other stuff and then get them to 21 and have a nice team for myself. Uh, so Epic Campaign would be a good choice. Uh, I didn't talk about, uh, what was it? Was it Howl's in the Dark? Uh, no, I think we talked about that one already. Sorry guys, I'm trying to remember all the ones that I've clicked on. Not that one. No, I didn't talk about Howls in the Dark. So Howls in the Dark is one that I, I could get with. It was like a level 7 mod, but I don't know where you'll finish at. Um, kind of a hack and slasher. Suggested Rogue, Barbarian, Warlock, Iron Monk. Oh no, sorry, those are forced teammates. And you have to be a good character. Uh, other stuff like Night Howls and Nestle Haven is a fun one. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Scourge of the Slave Lords was recommended. I looked it up. I have a link for it. Um, but I don't know 
how far you take that one and what level you start out at. So again, I, I couldn't give you more information on it. I'll have to look into it. Uh, there's pl like I said, there's plenty out there. And like I have a list right now that I have what, uh, 21 different mods. Uh, Serene, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but S-E-R-E-N-E. -E. Looks like a decent low level one, starting at level four or five, so a little class. Can't be a paladin because there's a, what do I wanna say? Serene had a, a no alignment restriction, but there's like a revenge plot in there. Like you, you've been wronged and need to do something bad. Um, and a pet wouldn't work for a paladin. So they say, no, don't do a paladin. Otherwise you have to explain to yourself, you know what, why you committed that murder or whatever. But everyone else, it's just a revenge plot, pure and simple. Even good people will, you know, murder somebody, I guess, if you've been wronged enough. So I guess that's the plot there. Um, Legacy of White Plume Mountain was one that I was toying with. Uh, it's particularly large, uh, 15 plus hours of gameplay. Starting at level 7 plus for your character, you finish around level 16. So that's a nice, good one. Any alignment, race, or class, doesn't seem to be any kind of restriction. Uh, it will auto level you to 7. And you don't get any gold, though. So you really want to import something where you have some stuff. But it was catered and PRC friendly ish. Uh, and that would be another one that I could get into. Um, do, 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 do. I think that's all the ones I wanted to point out to you guys. Again, Howl's in the Dark, another good one. Uh, thank what we talked about, yeah. So, as you can see, lots of choices. Um, again, we're going to end the video here. Please uh, don't like, subscribe, or anything for this silliness. But do comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. What do you want to see? I can just pick one. I got no problem picking one. I already have a, a half a dozen plans in my brain right now for how to level up that that paladin favorite soul divine champion doom guy guy that I want to get to level 30 just to see how badass his multi smiting is going to be uh, it'll be a pretty interesting uh, uh, divine might build as well but you know I don't want to just do stuff that I find fun I want to do stuff that you guys want to see too so tell me do you want me to play your rogue do you want me to be a paladin kind of character do you want me to make do you have a multi-class dip that you wanted to see you know only one that I will ask you guys not pick and that's just a personal preference I really don't seem to like warlocks and maybe I just, I'm not playing them right maybe that's all it is and it's not that they're bad choices for those people that are playing and love them hey that's great it's your game enjoy your game but I just can't seem to get into the character I don't I don't know why uh, the premise behind them is pretty fun I mean you sell your soul or whatever you make a pact that you get like uber powers and why I don't like a character that can blast at range infinity with you know, no worry about running out of arrows or needing more spell slots because they just always can cast that damaging spell. You know, I don't I don't know why that doesn't do it for me. When I could take a sword swinging you know, jerk into battle and all he's doing is swinging the same damn sword and that just is always fun to me. I don't know why. So just don't suggest a warlock. Other than that, I'm I'm pretty much open. Um, some of these, again, do have those restrictions. Paladin won't fit here. There's no need for a rogue there. Uh, so keep an eye out for stuff like that when you're reading these um, various web pages. So don't suggest, oh, this is a hack and slasher. That's extremely difficult. Why don't you play a wizard, Brother Mutant? Because I don't want to die 30 times before I get out of the tutorial. So don't suggest silly stuff like that. Because I will check and I will say, no, I'm not doing that. Um... But I think we have some decent choices here. And again, I'm open to other suggestions. Tell me what you guys think. We've got plenty of stuff out there. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to many of these. Like I said, I, I have favorite choices. Looking right at you, uh, Tears of Ilmer Rid, a Fairy Tale Scroll, Islander would look like it would be fun. Path of Evil so sounds like an epic campaign level 1 to 20 plus. Who wouldn't love to do that? You know, I have to be evil. You know, I'll have to put on my evil thinking brain to to see how I can play evil. Uh, but basically you just treat everyone like dirt and you know, kinda like go from there I suppose. They behave like every boss that you've ever hated. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's that's evil. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, but like I said, there's plenty to work with. Between this, uh, Harp and Chrysanthemum looks like super fun. Black Scourge, I know I loved because I played it once before. Temple of Elemental Evil. And you know, again, there's nothing wrong with any of these choices and other choices. Tell me what you guys think. With that, 
My name's Brother Mutant. I hope to hear from you guys soon. And remember to look for my other video following this one, which will be uh, a basic breakdown of like three or four different character concepts I already have whittling around my little pea brain. It's not to say that they'll have to use those uh, or that they will compose the team for that matter. If there's you know the chance to make a team, I may make a completely different team. But I'll one of those three or four characters would probably be one of the new characters you guys will see. So you see something a little different instead of my favorite sorcerer or uh, my arcane trickster or my new cleric that you guys have already seen videos on. We'll try something a little different. Bye now.